What the hell? I'm going to ask you some questions. When I think you're lying, I'll do this. I... Who do you work for? Vyacheslav Grinko. Tell me about him. He used to be Spetsnaz. Now he's mercenary. He works for President Nikolaj. Where do I find Rinko? He is meeting Mass in the elevator by the courtyard. Who's Mass? Philippe Mass, some computer guy. He has access to Nikolaj's office. What's this meeting about? I don't know. I swear, it's gotta be something bad if Nikolaj is willing to see Grinko face to face. I need you to understand that we never talked. I understand. Good. Convince me we never talked. If anybody finds out, Grinko will murder me. And you're frightened of Grinko. God, yes! Please, don't hurt me. I'm just a driver. I swear, I've already forgotten you. Must have been nice. Are you Ivan? I... Yes. You are American? You are police? Yes and no. The police are on their way. Until they get here, I'm the only friend you've got, and I'm not a very good one. We have to leave. We have to hurry. They'll find us soon. That's not my job. I'm here for your encryption key. That wasn't the deal. The deal still stands. The feds will get you out of here alive, but first you have to give me the key. That wasn't the deal I made with the woman on the phone. Listen, do I come to your job and tell you how to murder civilians? What? No. So don't come to my job and tell me how to do mine. Feds are on their way or here already. You're gonna be fine. You can give me the key or I can take it. That wasn't the deal. You're working from a very limited phrase book. Listen, just give me the key. I'm tired and I hate making people scream. It gets me down. Here. Thanks. And until the feds get here, find a better hiding place. God damn it. Fisher? You're gonna like this. It makes me nervous when you say that. The Russians are all over the top floor. They're gonna have to do some cleaning before the Osprey can safely touch down for extraction. Go away! I'm hiding! I'm going to shoot myself. Not in the face. <laughs> you are American. You are the cause of all my sorrows, yes? Perhaps you will do me the favor of killing me. I'm going to unlock the data in your computer, and you're going to help me. Go to hell! You can't force a dead man into anything. You're not dead yet. The rest of your life is all you've got, and how painful that is depends on your cooperation. My life was suffering long before you got here. Do your worst. <sighs> Will do. Where did Nikolaj run to? I don't know. I don't care. You owe the man no loyalty. He fled. He betrayed you. I hope you find and kill him. But I do not know where he is. You and your... Fascist government can go to hell! <gasps> Fantastic work, Fisher. I see more suicides on this job. Say monkey. Monkey! Thanks. Ingrid. You must be my blind date. I hope the bit with the flashlight helped. It did, thanks. I'm doing the best I can. This hasn't turned out to be the desk job I was hired for. I'm a word cruncher. Word crunching's what I need, look. Nice PDA. Are you saving up for the color model? Can you read it? It's phonetical mambe. Not a native speaker, but fluent. Gives numbers for a meeting place. 4857 North, 0308 East. 18 hours. The only reference to the location is Solnier. That's not mambe. It says they're only a few weeks from securing the uh, ingredients for the Springfield demonstration. And that's it. 
It's signed, Mortified Penguin. Mortified Penguin? Your guess is as good as mine, but I wouldn't recommend guessing. And while you're at it, forget everything you've seen, heard, and said. Are you going to be all right if I leave here? Would you stay if I said no? No. Well done, Fisher. There's a nice synchronicity between those coordinates and the name Saunier. Both match a cryogenics lab in Paris. And we just got word from Delta. They're sending their boys in. Which means you're off the leash. Merry Christmas, Fisher. Shoot all the gorillas you like. You have a quick exit downstairs at the base of the tower. Cohen is waiting for you in the village. The Osprey can't land in the village. Cohen's afraid of being too good a target. Cut the power from all the spotlights in the village. They'll fly as low as possible to pick you up at the end of the pier. Why aren't you with the rest of the hostages? It was Sedano's idea. He wanted to use me for translations, even negotiations if it comes to that. Your file says you're CIA. Do you have any field training? Just CPR. I'm a desk jockey. How did you know I was coming? There was a pop-up on the computer over there. It called me by my social security number and the nickname my parents had for me as a kid. Huh. Whoever your people are, they're good. They said somebody was coming and I shouldn't ask questions. And that was as far as they got before my guard saw it and smashed the computer. I can lock the door after you leave. I'll be fine. I'm not here to add to your troubles. Are you badly hurt? No. I'm living, I think. You are? I'm from the phone company. There's been a recall. What? I'm gonna need to take your telephone. I... I'm very confused. Give me the phone, Francis. So that's Mortified Penguin. Compliment Mr. Kodabeth on his photography. We got a facial match off CIA databases. Norman Soth, U.S. citizen. What's that ID code? Does it mean he's an agency asset? No, it means they don't know. I'm running him through Echelon. We could have a location on him within the hour. Great work, everybody. Make yourself scarce, Fisher. Cohen's waiting outside for extraction. Right. Right what? Is there any way out of here besides the door and the air vent? You are thinking I would still be here if there was? How did you end up in here? Who are you? You are not from the phone company. I'm a penguin hunter. How did you know whose picture to take? I could tell the bald guy was the chief. And he was the one who killed the others. The Arabs, they would have just tied them up. But the bald man wanted no witnesses. I thought I could take his picture in secret, but my phone beeps when it takes a picture. This is the only place I can hide, so I run here and wait for dawn. Now we both wait, yes? for Don. I am guessing you turn into a pumpkin. Now you're getting it. A pumpkin that kills penguins for the phone company. Now you're being ridiculous. You better find some place to hide. This is not funny. I don't want to die. You sure that's safe? Go away. This is not funny. I you sure that's safe? Go away. Wake up, Poindexter. First, you tell me, who are you? I'm your Uncle Sam. Come to make sure you're still one of the good guys. How do I trust you? Your name's Norman Soth. Ask me about the chestnut tree. Okay, fine. What are you doing here? If the men I'm with catch us talking, they'll kill us both. Then make your Sedona story fast. It's an agency job. The Joint Chiefs want a military presence in Indonesia, and I was part of the plan. That's all I can say. Who's your runner? Clifton Finch. What about the cryogenics lab? Sir? What is it now? You have a phone call. Stay hidden and don't make a noise.
Sorry if I woke you. It's him. Is this a fresh phone? We put the chip in just an hour ago. Good, let's go to the bar car. I don't want to talk here. He was lying about his handler, wasn't he? Yeah. Finch has been on sick leave for 16 months. Hack the laptop now. And trail Soft. Laser mic that call. We still can't risk blowing Soft's cover. Is there a special hour for the mass? Only in the morning. You took a long time. You're American. Who are you? I'm friendly and looking for a friend of mine. You've seen this man. I feel you wouldn't be asking unless I had. What was he doing in Jerusalem? Buying a weapon. Details, details. I don't know any. Something biological. The Syrians have supposedly had it for over a decade, but it was too dangerous to move until your friend came along with some kind of storage devices. What was the deal? Your friend got the biological agent. He gave the Syrians a small mountain of U.S. currency and one of the storage devices. Where are the Syrians? Where's the device? I'll take you to the device, but stay out of sight. Anybody sees us together, and we'll be far from the only people killed. Wait. You knew I was coming. Sure. My people contacted me. Said that if you had any doubts, to mention the name D.P. Brunton. What will you do when we reach the Syrians? I'll get you inside to see them, and then drop out of sight. If you're able, I'd appreciate a lack of witnesses. Follow me, stay out of sight. If we're going to go, we need to leave now. Nicely done. Does this change our plan? No. The biological sample will only be at the Shoshana warehouse for another few hours. We can't afford to let it get away. We just need to be more subtle. If I see you between here and the warehouse, I'll have to call off my part of the assignment. Right. Is there a way I could get up on the roofs? Yeah, that works. Over there, you should be able to get up. I'll meet you at the warehouse. Who do the Syrians think you are? A double agent. They think I'm betraying Mossad. Why are you being so helpful? Our governments are allies. Our enemies are yours. You don't have to come to the warehouse. Teamwork isn't exactly my M.O. You can take it up with your superiors. Brunton, I believe his name was. You can follow me from the shadows. You ready? We're stirring up a nest of vipers here. You want to come inside? Not on your life. Fisher, we need Dahlia Tal dead. Kill her. Don't think, just do it. Damn it, Fisher. We needed her dead. Why? Shin Bet's not playing a straight game. It's not your job to question. I'm going to need a little more warning to shoot unarmed women. Are we aborting the mission? No, we can't. But you, you just dug yourself a deep pit to climb out of. Sign off, Brunton. We need to talk. Get the sample as soon as possible. You're in a fifth freedom situation. All means are acceptable. <laughs> got some bad intercepts, Fisher. You ever read the Chamberlain chapter of your history books? No need to act cute. Dahlia Tal is close and no doubt eager to repay your mercy. Shinbet wants the ND-133 and knows there's no official repercussions for killing somebody who doesn't officially exist. She's got sniper stats that could disprove Kennedy conspiracies, needless to say. Yeah, you said jump and I didn't. When I get back to the States, I'll sit facing the corner in a cone hat. Tell me what I just did, Lambert. The right thing. Hard work, but it had to happen. Shinbet wasn't playing a straight game. Killing unarmed women seems mighty close to terrorism. Shut up, Fisher. Leave the ethics to us. Brunton, sign off. 
We need to talk. Get the sample as soon as possible. You're in a fifth freedom situation. All means are acceptable. Great work, Fisher. Now find out what's in it. I could open it. And you could play Russian roulette with a clip-loading pistol. Where's your sense of humor? We got a CIA analyst waiting with Cohen. Man by the name of Bellagio Sampler. Bellagio Sampler? You asked where my sense of humor was. Updates on your OPSAT. Howdy. Go ahead. I'm ready. But we only just met. Kill me. I'm not afraid. No such luck. Where's the last smallpox sample? Who says there's only one more? You do if I squeeze hard enough. Where and how many? Next door. Hundreds. Where's the smallpox? Everywhere. Do you have children? <coughs> Where's the smallpox? Ha! Huh? How many children? Where are they now? Ah. Great work, Fisher. You're well on track to becoming history's most prolific unknown author of world events. If I had any blood left, I'm sure I'd be blushing. Is Ingrid in position on the roof? That's right. And the helicopter, too. Keep Sedono conscious until you've made visual contact with Carlson. Can I get a confirmation, Fisher? Sedano's alive and you've got him? Yes. Fantastic. Don't worry about leaving a mess behind you on your way out. We're arranging to sweep up after you're gone. We're not in the clear yet. Get Sedono to the roof. Ingrid's waiting. The questioning only gets worse once I'm gone. I'm not afraid of pain. You can learn. You can learn from pain. Maybe once America has suffered, she will start to learn. I know it's too late for you, but maybe your children... You don't learn so quickly. The box is under your child's pillow. I will be a black mark on your nation's soul. gift wrapped him, but I couldn't find any duct tape. It always shocks me how young he looks. Like a little kid compared to his face on television. You honestly liked him? No. Respect, maybe. But I know he's a monster. He has a child's idea of war. Can't tell the difference between a citizen and a soldier. He thinks the whole world is a morally viable target. There's only one nation on the planet fighting the whole world. Huh. Whose side are you on? You know I can't say that. Yeah, I know. I don't know who you are or how you do what you do, but thank you. I hope we can work together again. Even if you tried to shout, nobody could hear you. I won't. Good. Who do you work for? Los Angeles International. Ah! Your lives will get more painful as we go. Who do you work for? I'm a citizen of the world. That wasn't my question. You can kill me, but you can't stop us. Where's the ND-133? You... you know? Surprise. Where is it? My employer... kill me. Kill me and then kill yourself. I won't talk, and you don't want to die by the pox. You don't look so hot. How would you feel with a gun to your head? You were sweating before I even grabbed you. It's the vaccination. It's how we walk out of here after the virus is released. But it leaves a fever. That's all you get out of me. Give up. You're far from the only war criminal who'll die today. Give up. You're... Great. Grim. Didn't anyone ever tell you that spelunking is dangerous? Oh no! You are going to kill me, right? Only if you say the word monkey. Now tell me something I want to know. Uh, 
ammunition and medical supplies. Check around inside the keep. They have tons of stuff in there. Some of you guys are real helpful. Why do you have to work for the bad guys? You're the American oppressor. You're the bad guy. Are you gonna say monkey? What? No! Then this conversation is over. <laughs> I already don't like you. Don't make it worse for yourself. Who... Who are you? Shut up. Why did you torture Morgan Holt? Lacerda told us to. Why? What does he want to know? Math problems. Programmer stuff. I don't get it. You're just the stupid one who likes to hurt people, huh? Ex exactly. Can you think of a reason why the world wouldn't be a better place without you? Ah, uh, please. I... I didn't think so. Who were you talking to? What? Who are you? I'm the guy who's going to break your knees if you don't tell me who you were talking to. Oh, God. You... It was La Cerda. Hugo La Cerda. Where is he? It's aboard the ship. The Maria Narcisa. Why? Weapons. He's delivering the new weapons to the other cells. If I find out you're lying, I will come back for you. Oh, God. Please. Noisy down here. Oh, my... Makes it easy to sneak up on people. What is this hold? The auxiliary pump is here. There are some flooded compartments. The pump should be able to drain them. Thanks for the information. <laughs> Stay calm. We don't want to make any sparks. Who, who, who are you? I'm the fire inspector. And I'm worried that you or one of your stupid friends might try and squeeze a shot off in here. Where? Why? Can't you smell the gas? But... but I didn't think it was dangerous. Imagine you needed to stow your ammo to prevent any accidents. Where would you put it? Uh, uh, the men bunk up port side. Just turn left out the back of the engine room. They've got a crate full of new guns back there. Maybe some other stuff too. I'm not sure. Now where would that fat pig stash is from? Shh. Don't make a scene. Uh, Madre de Dios. Not exactly. But if it makes you feel better to pray. Please don't kill me. Lacerda, come on. Bring us a drink. Calm him down. Uh, uh, see, I'm looking for some rum. What, you need a hand? No, no, I, I'll find it. Good job. Please let me go. I won't tell them I saw you. You don't understand what's happening here, do you? Morgan Holt, your goons tortured him to death and I'm holding you responsible. Oh, no, it's not my fault. The only thing worse than a coward is a liar. You gave the order, and now you're gonna die for it. Please! First, tell me who contracted you to kidnap him. I... I don't know. I swear! I was contacted indirectly. I was warned not to try and find out. I'm sorry. It's not my fault. I'm sorry. It's not my fault. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm a coward, please. Good job, Fisher. Tell me something about your security systems. Ah, oh, okay. We have motion sensors out here, newly installed. Motion sensors? See, si. they turn on the lights. Oh, no alarms, just lights. Like for your garage. Uh, not for my garage. Are you kidding? Those things are expensive. High tech. Uh, yeah, whatever. Don't kill me. I beg you. Don't kill. Don't kill. I swear. The motion sensors are not connected to alarms. How many men on duty tonight? Madre de Dios. Answer the question. How many? You mean including me? Unless you think I should remove you from the equation. 
no, 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 that's fine. I think, I think there are 20 of us. You think? That's counting the guards outside and on the rooftop, as well as the technicians and the guards who are on call in case of emergency. And is that including you or not? Yes, yes, that is definitely including me. Hello, Paco. Uh, who are you? What do you want? I wanted to thank you for fixing the keypad on that door. Yeah, yeah, that's Paco. Always doing the dirty work. You want to tell me the door code now? Sure, why not? It's 8645. You want me to write it down? No, that's okay. 86. Paco doesn't give his numbers out to just anyone. All right, I don't know who you are, but this is private property. What are you talking about? I've been working here for two years. Prove it. Prove it? Uh, okay. Well, the key code to the back doors is... Hey, wait a minute. You're trying to trick me. You're the one who's not supposed to be here. All right. You caught me. I surrender. Oh, wait. Instead, how about you tell me the key code anyway, and I won't be forced to hurt you? Oh, well, since you put it that way, the code is 3901. Thanks. I'm not afraid of you. Okay, I'm afraid. I am. You almost tricked me, but I'm too smart. Oops. Damn, what happened? Lasers inside the vault door. The whole bank is alert. Army incoming. Bugger this. Come out of there. Cut the chatter, people. Nothing we can do about it now. Fisher, grab that data and get out of there. You got it. All right, Fisher, that's all we need. Time to make yourself scarce. Go to the nearest extraction point. On my way. All right, Fisher. We'll extract you as planned from the same location you were inserted. Over the wall from the front courtyard? That's right. Redding will be waiting for you nearby. On my way. Stay calm. We're on the same side. J Jesus! Who are you? I'm the monster in the closet. And I'm gonna let you go back to sleep as soon as you tell me how many men you have deployed out here. There's, there's just eight of us in the squad, but there are more on the roof. How many? I don't know. I swear. Thanks for the intel. I'm just an ordinary guy. Please. I'm just a... I'm just a... I'm not even a soldier. I, I work in a hardware store. Shh. I'm not going to hurt you. Who... Who are you? Wait a minute. Is this a training exercise? Damn. Support. This guy knows it's an exercise. Who let the cat out of the bag? <laughs> I knew it. Roger that. Yeah. Okay. Give me a hand here, pal. Just play along. Name, rank, and number. Corporal Stan Donlin. 24-28-996. And you're not going to tell me anything else? No, sir. Good boy. All right. Want me to move on to the next one? Yeah. Roger. Huh? Okay. I'll ask. Command wants to know how many are on the roof. Two on the roof, sir. Two more inbound in a chopper. Thanks. Dismissed. Wait a minute! This isn't an exercise! Who are you? Wait a... Well, am I dismissed or not? Pick a number between one and ten. Uh, what? Oh, oh, crap. Uh, three! Lucky guess. You get the lift. Now tell me something useful or we'll play another round. Oh, God! I, I, the, the mag lock! The locked door to the roof! What about it? Uh, uh, I think the computer that controls it is in the master bedroom on the top floor. Do you want me to pick again? Uh, four. No, 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 wait, wait, seven! Do you want me to pick Do you want me? 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 I told you everything! Stay quiet. It's a long way down to the street. Oh, God, please don't. Sounds to me like you know who's in charge of VIP protection here. 
Yeah, it's Nedich. Mylon Nedich. Is he in charge of the protection security. detail on Morgan Holt in Peru as well? Yeah, Mylon handles all displaced VIP protection not contracts. Peru. Well, he's not very good at it, is he? Please don't throw me off this roof. Wouldn't dream of it. Mylon Nedich. Echelon's got nothing. He doesn't even exist. Hmm. Uh, whoever he is, he's playing both sides. We need to inform Shetland. No can do, Sam. We can't compromise OPSEC for private interests. Fine. But if I find Nedich, it'll be less of a problem. Admirable of you to protect your friend, but... You said he doesn't exist. I'm just correcting a bureaucratic error. What are you doing out here all by yourself? Huh? Guarding the roof. From what? Let me go and I'll show you. Feisty one. How about I cut your ear off, see how tough you are then? Go ahead. I have two. How many men do you have out here? I'm alone on this roof. Alone, huh? Lousy way to die. We all die alone. I know you're too scared to fight me fairly. Let me go and we'll see who's the strongest. Something going on with the ventilation system? Oh, uh, hey, who are you? Pretend I'm Harry Tuttle. Uh, who? I'm an ill-tempered and heavily armed heating engineer who's asking questions about your ventilation system. Uh, I, I guess... I, I guess it's not working properly since the blackout. So it shouldn't take much to shut down that big fan if I wanted to. I... I don't know. Why would you want to do that? The adventure. The travel. Hey. Uh, Okay. I don't care what you do with the fan. Just don't kill me. And don't forget to fill out your 267B stroke six. Fresh ground or dried? What? The coffee machine. Ground or dried? Uh, I'm not sure. Then you better tell me something useful and fast. Uh, uh, you might need the door code out of here. It's 8136. That'll do. Would do you like cream and sugar with that? Uh, I'm afraid of pain. Uh, uh, uncle! Uncle! Uh, Is New York City thinking about hiring displaced to protect Manhattan? Uh, oh, God! Okay, you're getting yeah. rattled. As far as Just PMCs forget. go, this place isn't so bad. But you have no idea what you're getting into. What do you mean? Remember the Mafia? But yeah, I've heard stories. Forget it. Well, imagine if instead of a anyway. bunch of thick-necked goons with stilettos, the city was indebted to an army of sociopathic snake eaters who were loyal to the highest bidder. That doesn't sound good. It wasn't the barbarians who sacked Rome. It was the legionnaire expatriates who mustered barbarian armies. They're scaring me! Get out while you can. Please! I'm just an elected official. I have no real power. Please! I think I wet my pants. God. Gotcha. Oh, hey! You're not supposed to be here. Tell me something useful and I'll leave. Uh, forget it. I won't tell you anything. Are you crazy? We're on the 60th floor. Uh, what? What do you mean? You know, it's not true that you go unconscious before you hit the ground. You see it coming the whole way. You... you wouldn't. You want to convince me not to? Uh, uh, door code to the executive offices is 2346. Please. I'm scared of heights. Please. I won't tell anyone you were here. <gasps> nice suit. Italian? Uh, oh, no. Uh, Italian. Yes, the Florentine silk. Andretti? Who's Andretti? Andretti? The famous designer. Men's suits, tuxedos. I'm not a tuxedo kind of guy. But you are some kind of spy. Yeah, I'm the real kind, not the tuxedo kind. I'm the kind of spy who gets blood all over your Andretti unless you give me information. 
Oh god, please don't ruin my suit. How about a door code? CEO's office, 2609. Talk, but talk quietly. I'll tell you anything. I'm the biggest coward you've ever met. That's quite a claim. I've already wet myself. Well, then you've made the top ten. Where's the Casey? Somewhere at the far end. In the tea house, maybe. All right. I think it's time for you to take a nap, then. I'm such a coward. You should kill me anyway. I don't deserve to live. You are pretty spineless, actually. I'm so ashamed. I can't face myself any longer. I don't deserve to live. <laughs> nice wheels. <gasps> oh, crap! Think the trunk is big enough for a body. Uh, oh, God. I... I'm not sure. Tell me where Nedich is or we'll find out. Uh, in the Central Palace, I think. Uh, he's meeting with some of the senior officers. Thanks. Sam, use your EEV to scan the license plates on those trucks. I might be able to dig up some info on our friend Nedich. I'll give it a shot. Bad news. Ah, I know it. I know there were ninjas here. What? Yeah, you must be a ninja. How else could you sneak up and grab me like that? Listen, I don't know what... Wow, I can't believe it. A real live ninja. Listen, I'm gonna kill you if... Wow! Killed by a ninja. Cool. Do you have any Tatsubishi? Do you have... Do you have... Do you have... If you have to kill me, do it with your blowpipe. Shh. Let's not make a scene. Who are you? What do you want? I want to know why you're protecting Sir Casey. How displace is involved. I won't talk. You're gonna make me cut your throat and look for the words inside your neck. Oh, God. Please, let me go. You're not leaving here alive, Nedich. But if you tell me what I want to know, I can make the end a little easier for you. The blackout. We we needed to keep Zerkezi safe after the blackout. And what about the Walsh? Uh, uh, I don't know anything about the Walsh. You'll have to ask Shetland. Shetland? Yeah. She needed more data from Kizzy after the blackouts. But we have everything we... Shetland knows what you're up to. Yeah, yeah, he's the boss. He gave the order to bring Zerkezi here. Where is he now? He's on his way here now, by helicopter. Finish it, or let me go. Finish it, do it! Or are you a coward? That's Nedich out of the picture. Your boss just committed murder. He's the boss. Well, I knew being a CEO meant you could defraud your investors. But I didn't realize murder was... Hey, save the guilt trip, tough guy. Whoever you work for has murdered just as many. What gives you the right? The people I work for are elected. So is Shetland. Elected by the people, not just by the shareholders. We're traded publicly. Nineteen dollars a share. Anyone can get on board. There's a big difference between a free country and a nineteen dollar a share country. Freedom. Yeah. You go hide behind that idea. As long as the government is sending people like you after its citizens, we'll never be free. Uh, you're right. Maybe we all deserve the same fate as Zerkezi. Damn right! Fine. Let's start with you. <laughs> Tell me something useful and I won't stuff your corpse inside one of these crates. <sighs> the door code to get to the offices is 1879. What? That's it? No resistance, no whining. Uh, you're the one with the knife. All right. Well, thanks for your time, then. Huh? Don't panic. Fine. You're well trained. I am a royal soldier of the North Korean Army. Congratulations. 
Give me some intelligence or you'll be pushing up daisies in a cemetery full of guys just like you. I don't have any intelligence! Hey, <laughs> you just called yourself stupid. I am not stupid! I am an oil! Boy, you're worse than a washed-out jarhead. Do not compare me to a cowardly American Marine! Tell me something useful or we're finished here. Death before dishonor! Boy, your grunts are all the same. Don't bother with the who are you crap. We're too old for children's games. Oh, uh, fine. What do you want, American? This battery is on the logistics train down Kaisong Munsan. What's the divisional strength? Why should I tell you? You'll kill me anyway. It's a game of position, Colonel, and you've already lost. Do you need to condemn 50,000 men as well? They'll be your men, American, not mine. They're not my men, Colonel, and they're not yours either. They're just men, husbands, fathers, sons. Same as you and I. Do they need to die for our mistakes? We have 8 to 1 force ratios against your 2nd Infantry Division in armor, artillery, and infantry down the length of the approach. 8 to 1? You cannot win. Kaysan Mudsan will be the breach point, and... Soul will fall inside of 72 hours. Old soldiers never die. Old, 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 fit to serve, fit to rest. Good Lord, Fisher. Those numbers triple our best estimates. Damn. I know a lot of guys in 2ID, Lambert. They're good men, but I hope their life insurance policies are up to date. Stay quiet and you might live. What? Oh! Shut up. Lambert, I've got one. Good job, Fisher. I'm gonna patch you through direct. Hold on. Stay calm. This will just take a sec. Uh, okay. All right, Fisher. Go ahead. I've got someone who wants to talk to you. Roger. Ask him where they took Zhang. Where did you take Zhang? I... I don't know what you're talking about. He's not answering. Should I kill him? Negative, negative. All right. They say I should kill you, so... Wait! Okay! Zhong, we moved him to a cyber cafe just off the fish market by the river. Is that what you needed to know, guys? Uh, affirmative. Thanks a lot, sir. We owe you one. Welcome to the team. I don't know... I don't know anything else! I don't know... What are you... You want to tell me what's going on, Lambert? Sorry, Fisher. But you're getting too old for this kind of work. Stop listening to Grip. If you go by her definition of old, you'd need to issue diapers with every set of goggles. If I listen to you much longer, it'll be adult undergarments. That was cruel. What's with the truck? Oh, damn! It's a mobile command center for battlefield management! It's tied into the NKA central networks? Yeah! I bet a curious guy could get a lot of useful intelligence out of one of those. You didn't hear it from me! Nice truck. Uh, it, it's not mine. So you probably won't mind if I access it for a second. Well, I won't mind as long as you don't kill me. I'll think about it. I don't want to hurt you, so tell me something useful. I know lots of useful things. Fantastic. Run down the list. The door code to the owner's office is... Three, six, five, zero. Good. There are some men barricaded in a room next to the owner's office. There is a vent in the wall that joins the rooms. Very helpful. It is my pleasure to serve you. Please. Come again. The camera in the hallway can be disabled from the computer at the front desk. The camera in the ca Also, there is a bottle of fine whiskey hidden beside my bed. Excuse me, I need directions. 
What? Okay. I'm the good guy who's here to save the world. I... I thought... I was the good guy. No, no. You're on the team with the super-secret underground base. I'm the guy breaking into the base. That makes me the good guy. Now tell me how I get in. There's a ladder in the electrical room. You can probably find a way in from there, into the bathrooms. I once saw a cat around the cables over there. Did you try the doorbell on the front door? Bad news, Colonel. Uh, how did you get free? Listen, I'm not feeling too good right now. Under any other circumstance, I'd jump at the chance to cut you a second smile. Please, don't kill me, American! I have orders not to, but I can still hurt you pretty bad if I feel like it. How many more men do you have down here? Uh, I didn't call any more reinforcements. The captain needed more men downstairs. No one was expecting you. So it's just your buddy outside the door? Yes! I was careless. I was a minute more, and I'd have started with the ridges. Come in, Fisher. Come in. I'm... I'm okay, Lambert. Non-lethal round. They were planning on interrogating me. They couldn't have had time to. You were only gone for a couple of minutes. Good. Where were we? Well, the whole facility is on alert. Are you sure you're okay to continue the mission? Now that you mention it, maybe I could use a week on the beach instead. You'll have it, as soon as we find out what's happening in the war room. I'm on my way. What have you done, American? Give it up, Admiral. It's over. <laughs> you think that I will surrender to you? You think that I will allow your people to strip me of my dignity? Throw me in chains? No, I think not. My people have endured your charming oppression for more than 60 years. You say tomato. Americans, always turning to their jokes when their hearts are full of fear. And you should be afraid. I may be defeated, but I am a man. And ideas are stronger than men. You may even prevent this war, American. But the dragon has awoken. And he will not be so easily sedated this time. Now what? I think someone is taking himself a bit too seriously. We can't afford to let him die, Fisher. Get in there and stabilize him. Fast. Fisher, he's stable, but we still have to get him out of there. You're going to have to blast your way out. We're over a hundred feet underwater. You're not pressurized, Fisher. It will be a shock, but you won't get the bends. Next time, you're going on the mission and I'm making up the crazy plan. Damn it, Sam! I told you to save him! He was dead already. There was still time to get him medical attention. Now we're at war with Korea for sure. Mission over. Crazy plan.
Where it is you might know. Who told you that? God. Why don't you go ask God? No! The only explosives that are armed are already on the wall. Anything else I should know? Oh! Tell me that was the ice cracking. I know you're twisting, but I can't feel my arm anymore. I know you're twisting, but... I told you I'm not interested. Oh. And I'm not Paolo. Oh, hell no. You're one of the bombers. That's not a term I like. Where's the bridge? You're a killer. Why would I help? God damn it. Go fuck. Oh. Front of the ship. It's up ahead through the gym. Why should I say anything else? Wrong place, wrong time. What do you want? What can you tell me about the meeting room on the roof? I don't know. That has to be the worst lie I've ever heard. You can't get in there. Nobody can. Oh, oh, for the love of God! I told you what I know. Oh, oh, oh. I've got a question for you. I won't answer your questions. It's an easy one. How much pressure do you think your throat can take? Oh, give it up. It's too late for you to do anything except die like the rest of us. Kill me and it just means I'll be waiting for you in hell. I need something from you. If you're looking for the bomb, you're too late. It's gonna blow before those SWAT bastards get inside the walls. Who's saying that? You are a meal. Why don't you find a meal and ask him yourself? It's a real bad time for cop an attitude. You might as well let me go. You're too late anyway. Tag, you're it. Ah, oh, crap! I'd prefer not to have to hurt you. That would be nice. What do you want to know? Tell me how to cause some damage around here. Be creative. Uh, the fuel regulator. It should blow up pretty good. That works. Just give me a running start before the explosion. You need anything else? You're not going to hurt me, right? This is not your lucky day. Kill me if you want. I'll tell you nothing. I respect your loyalty to your captain. The captain? You want information about that pig? Why didn't you say so? Start with what you don't like about him. He drinks! <laughs> like a fish. And, and then he turns into a raving lunatic. What's he like when he's not drinking? He's asleep. Are you here to kill him? Are you going to kill me? You know, I never liked you. Fisher! It was you all along, you sneaky son of a... Think hard about what you're about to say. What do you want? I want to know where Emil is. He's with the bomb. And where's that? Forget it. You can't get there from here. Not unless you can fly. Oh, come on, Fisher. Give me a break here. I don't think so good if I can't breathe. Just so you know, I did screw with your computer. Fisher. Don't kill me, man. I'm just a techie. I'll make you a deal then, techie. Tell me something useful, and I'll forget how much I'd like to hurt you. There's nothing I can tell you. We got the same briefing. You know everything I do. Then I guess I don't need you alive. Come on, Fisher. Please, don't. Just let me go. I swear. I'll go straight. You'll never see me again. Please, don't kill me. Oh God, don't kill me. 
Hello, Jamie. Sam! Man, I'm glad I found you. You don't need to do this, Sam. I wasn't gonna kill you. I know Emil has got it wrong. Actually, he doesn't. What? No. I'm afraid so, pal. But... Why? We were friends, man. I'll let you think that. You're lying, Sam. I know you. We bled together, man. You don't know me, Jamie. You never did. See? You're not gonna kill me. You can't. Let me go, brother. Let's forget this and finish the mission together. Hey, Moss. The bomb is armed. It's counting down. Then I guess it's gonna blow up early. What? You heard, Emil. The bombs have to go off. Not with us standing here. I'm going to disarm it. You make another move and I'll shoot you where you stand. We're here to guard the bomb no matter what. Get back here! Ah, it's not worth a bullet. Hello, Moose. Fisher. I thought you were keeping an eye on me. I've seen six-year-olds do better surveillance. So I was right about you. None of them would listen to me, you know. You had them all snowed. Emil, Jamie... Don't forget Enrica. Oh, I'm gonna kill you for touching her. Good luck with that. Hmm? I don't need your approval, boss. What do you want from me, then? Why not just kill me? I ask the questions. Oh, but of course. That is what you do. That is what you are. Nothing but questions. Who are you, and what do you believe in? You've walked a long way down our road, Fisher. Even found it in yourself to love one of us. Now, why would that be? She is not one of you. You seem so very sure of that. Is it because you simply don't want it to be true? That's not the way the world works. I consider your friend, Mr. Washington, who spoke so passionately on your behalf when you came to us. How many hours did you spend trying to convince yourself he was the enemy? Is he really? Or are you one of us, after all? Shut up. Who is Sam Fisher? Can you answer that one for me? That's enough out of you. Poor Fisher. You can kill me, you know, but you can't silence me. Not now. Not anymore. Thinking of another question? You'd better hurry. Hesitating? Unsure of what to do next? Surely you have the answers. Is everyone all right in there? Hello? Who's there? Sarah. Is that Miss Sarah Fisher? Yes! Yes! Who am I speaking to? I'm a police officer. We're in the middle of rescuing you, but some of the kidnappers are still on the ship, so we won't bring you out until it's safe. Is everyone all right in there? They drugged us. My friends are still out, but I think they're okay. Good. Stay quiet and make sure your captors don't know you're awake. Remain calm. You'll be free very soon. All right, officer. That's my girl. Miss Fisher? Yes? You're out of danger, miss. Just hang on and we'll have you free in a few minutes. Oh, thank God. Can you call my father and let him know I'm all right? His name is Samuel Fisher, and... Don't worry, miss. In a minute, you'll be able to call him yourself. Thank you so much! I love you too, honey. But you and me have to talk. Angel Spark is Highwood's January Elk. What are you talking about? Dwayne Rookie Limit. 
little rocky lady. Stop battling. <laughs> Jazz castle sheep dog my friends post. I can't understand a thing he's saying. Shepard 3, Tennessee Lamb. Steeple Grey Devil Blood Grill. <laughs> 